today we have 945 sites with rock art. French-Brazilian archaeologist Dr. Nied Guidon has overseen digs here since the 70s. New findings throughout the hemisphere are upending the Clovis First theory, a prevailing belief of 20th century archaeology in the United States that humans began arriving in the Americas about 13,000 years ago. The research in Brazil is trying to determine how early lands empty of humankind were settled. They have these structures to make fire. We took samples of um, the stones that were heated by the fire, and it was possible to date by a thermoluminescence to 100,000 years. Dr. Guidon's assertion that humans lived here 100,000 years ago has not been widely embraced. But research up and down the Americas increasingly reveals signs of human habitation long before Clovis hunters began appearing. Critics dispute some of their findings, claiming that sharpened stones could have been made as the result of rockfall or by monkeys. But the researchers here say the stones show clear evidence of human craftsmanship. <laughs> As scholars advance beyond Clovis I, this region, long mired in poverty, is now emerging as a flashpoint for research and discovery. In addition to the museum and laboratories, a public university now trains young archaeologists, many from towns near the stunning park. É uma emoção assim, acho que a maior de todas que foi o contato com o povo mesmo, né? A questão de achar o enterramento deles, saber que aqui era, né, um antepassado assim, alguém que viveu há muitos anos aqui na região.